Determined to become a great heroine, a brave little mouse joins the crew of old Jason and embarks on an adventure on the high seas to save her city from the wrath of Poseidon. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Epic Tales, from 2022. Patty is an adventurous little mouse who lives in Yolkos, Greece. Her biggest dream is to go on a great adventure and become a hero like Jason. At the city market, a gang of rats work as a team to steal the food on display at the stalls and manage to take the food without the shopkeepers realizing their presence. After catching their food, the rodents return to the sewer, where a large community of rats lives. Seeing the professionalism of these guys, Patty is impressed and her best friend, Luigi, dreams of being a ninja like them. During Miss Might's lesson, Patty has the opportunity to demonstrate her knowledge of the story of Jason. She reveals that the ship her favorite hero used in his adventure is called the Argo and is on display at the Port Museum. The goddesses Hera and Athena help build the vessel and Patty says she will board a ship like it when she sets off on her adventure. Upon hearing this, all of the little mouse's classmates start laughing and making fun of her, but Miss Mates tells them that Patty is only joking and orders the mice to stop laughing. Then the rat's parents arrive to collect them and Patty meets their adoptive father, a cat called Sam. While the feline is talking to Miss Mates about her daughter's behavior, Patty hears one of her colleagues mocking her once again and decides to take action. She quickly climbs down a rope and walks through the streets until she reaches the pier. Then she looks for a way to get to the ship. At that moment, Sam is looking for her and despairs when he sees his daughter using a wooden spoon as a catapult to throw her body into the ship. However, her strategy doesn't go according to plan and she ends up falling into the ocean. Determined to save the little one, the cat jumps into the water and dives in to rescue her. When they both get home, Patty is scolded and Sam says that only humans can become heroes because they are big and strong. Unlike Jason, Patty is just a little mouse and will end up losing her life if she keeps trying to become a hero. Even after hearing Sam's words, the rodent is still determined to go on a great adventure and her father tries to simulate a voyage on the high seas, but these games are no longer enough for Patty. So the cat comes up with a new idea and suggests that they create a theater so that the little mouse can act out all the adventures of her favorite hero. On that day, a new statue will be unveiled in the city and Jason will appear in front of everyone to make a speech. When he finds his friend, Luigi gives Patty a ticket so that she can take part in a prize draw in which the winner will win a trip to Alexandria. However, Sam thinks this is a bad idea, because to get there the little mouse will have to risk her life crossing the ocean. Even so, he lets Patty take part in the draw when he discovers that she only has one chance in a thousand of winning. That afternoon, the whole city gathers in the central square to listen to the speech by the hero Jason, who is now old, as it has been more than 80 years since he returned from Colchis with the Golden Fleece, which protects Yolkos. To Sam's dismay, when the draw is made, Patty's ticket number is chosen and he tries to keep his daughter distracted so that she doesn't discover the truth. During his speech, Jason tells of his adventures on the high seas in the company of Argo and his Argonauts. Thanks to the Golden Fleece he obtained, the city is more prosperous than ever and is an act of gratitude to Zeus for emanating his power through that artifact, the citizens built a large statue in his honor. In Olympus, Zeus is jumping for joy and uses the statue as a pretext to annoy Poseidon, who can't stand the fact that Zeus is more popular with humans than he is. While Patty watches Jason's speech intently, Sam takes her ticket and pulls it out. When he sees the little mouse approaching, he swallows the paper and says that her number hasn't been drawn. Suddenly, Poseidon appears in a rage and tries to enter the city, but the energy barrier created by the Golden Fleece prevents him from getting close. So the god of the seas tries to take the artifact and manages to throw it into the ocean. He then threatens the townspeople saying that they have seven days to build him a statue as beautiful as the one erected for Zeus. If they fail to accomplish this mission within the stipulated time, Poseidon will send a giant wave to destroy Yolkos and wipe it off the face of the earth. When he leaves, the humans begin to discuss how they are going to build a grandiose statue in such a short time and Patty rushes home to look for the map of Trinectos. The rodent plans to sail to this treasure-filled island to find the sapphire branches that can be used to form the statue's trident. Sam tries to dissuade her from the trip by saying that the island might not even really exist, but Chikos reveals that he has been there before and says he can guide them on their adventure. Meanwhile, Jason summons all the inhabitants of Yolkos to take part in the construction of the statue over the next seven days and, after seeing the map that Sam deliberately left on his desk, the old man decides to set off aboard the Argo on a mission to find the sapphire branches. The only problem is that all the Argonauts who accompanied Jason on his last adventure have now perished, so he'll have to find a new crew. Determined to solve this problem, Patty rushes to the museum and takes the last remaining tooth of the Cadmos dragon, as it has the power to bring an army of warriors to life. 
However, her plan doesn't work and all she manages to do is gather together a group of centuries-old skeletons that can barely move. Discovering that Patty knows how to operate a ship, Chikos invites her to join them on their journey and asks for her help in reaching Trinactos Island. However, Sam doesn't want to let his daughter go alone, so he decides to accompany her to make sure Patty is safe. Right at the start of the journey, the seagull sees a big storm approaching and starts to feel sick. Just then, the waves begin to invade the ship and Zeus sends several bolts of lightning to make things difficult for Jason, as he doesn't want a statue of Poseidon to be erected next to his. However, when his wife shows up, he gets a scolding and Patty is amazed to realize that the storm has suddenly disappeared. Just then, a baby kraken sent by Zeus emerges from the depths of the ocean and captures the ship. Immediately, Jason and the Argonauts prepare to attack it, but the giant monster returns the attack and splashes a large amount of fluid on the ship. He then starts playing with the ship, so Sam decides to run up to the baby's ears and sing him a lullaby to put him to sleep. Thanks to the cat, the creature decides to take a nap and dives into the sea, leaving behind a completely destroyed ship. Furious at almost being eliminated, Sam decides to return home and says that, at the first opportunity, he and Patty will get off the boat. After falling into a puddle of crack and slime, the cat gets it all out and Patty discovers that she has won the prize, but her father has eaten the ticket. Furious, she decides to continue the voyage and uses the torn sail to create a parachute. In this way, the ship continues to be carried away by the wind. Upon arriving in Syracuse, Jason hires a company to repair his ship and Patty throws Sam off the boat. She says that now the cat will have the chance to start his life again in that city and that she never wants to see him again. The next morning, when the ship is restored, the crew continues the mission and Sam stays behind. During the night, while all the old people are taking a nap, Chicos and Patty manage to spot the island and are about to wake Jason up when a gigantic robot appears and starts throwing rocks at the ship. Immediately, the rodent climbs onto the old man's back and starts moving his body so that he changes the ship's course. Her plan is to hide in a cave on the island and complete her mission without allowing the ship to be hit by the rocks. The next mission will be to find an exit that leads to the top of the island, but the place is surrounded by huge, poisonous scorpions. When the robot moves away, the scorpions also leave and Patty wakes up the rest of the crew. Meanwhile, Sam is mourning Patty's departure and bitterly regrets having destroyed the trust that existed between them. Just then, the feline hears some mice talking and decides to ask for their help to get to Trinactos. However, Don Carmen says that if he helps him find his daughter, the cat will owe him a favor and Sam accepts the deal. While Jason and his army use the map to find the treasure that is hidden on that island, Patty observes the forest and notices the presence of countless cyclops that have been petrified by the sunlight. In the company of Chicos, Patty sets off in search of the treasure and has no idea that her father has hitched a ride with a dolphin to get to the island. On the way, Creeper reveals that he owed those rats a favor because they freed him from a fishing net, so Sam begins to wonder what favor he has to do for Don Carmen. When Jason arrives at the place indicated by the map, he realizes that the treasure is no longer there and his army ends up being surrounded by a group of cyclops. After capturing the soldiers, the creatures put them in a giant sack and intend to cook them for dinner. When the cyclops leave, Patty decides to follow them, as she is convinced that it was they who took the sapphire branches. Just then, Sam arrives on the island and is relieved to see Argo inside the cave, as this means that Patty is not far away. However, on boarding the ship, the feline is captured by two rats who have been trapped on the island for weeks and want to hitch a ride on the ship to get away. Just as he was about to be pushed off the boat, Sam used his sharp nails to cut the rope and free himself. He then explains to John and Terry that he is looking for Patty, his daughter, who is a rat just like them. Realizing that Sam is not a threat, the two brothers decide to help him in his search. Just then, Patty and Chicos are detected by Yuki's and the animal starts sniffing them out. Immediately, the pair have to hide and come across a forge where the Cyclops built the robot that attacked them. While walking around the site, Patty finds a great treasure and now all she has to do is find the sapphire branches. Meanwhile, Sam and the two Mouse Brothers come across a group of giant scorpions and the cat prepares to flee, but John reveals that they are his friends. Bernardo, Gerardo and Theresa took care of the pair during the time they were lost on the island and say they are willing to help Sam find his daughter. However, when they discover that Patty and her friends have gone there in search of the sapphire branches, the scorpions realize that the Cyclops have managed to fool yet another crew. The truth is that they forge fake treasure maps and distribute them in the ocean to lure humans to Trinactos, who are devoured as soon as they reach their destination. The creatures show the graveyard of ships that exists around that island and say that they all went there in search of the treasure. John and Terry's family arrived on one of these boats, but only they managed to survive when the robot sank the ship. When she discovers the truth, 
Patty despairs because she feels guilty for what happened to the Argonauts and what will happen to the city of Yolkos. When he realizes that his daughter may be in danger, Sam immediately plans to go to the Cyclops' village, but Gerardo says that they won't be able to accompany him there because the giant robot has been programmed to destroy the scorpions. So John and Terry decide to show them the way. When they arrive in the village, Sam leaves the mice safely in the mountains and goes to find Patty, who is currently being chased by a two-headed monster. The dragon tries to devour them and, just as Chico's is about to be eliminated, Patty uses her reflexes to trick the predator. Suddenly, a metal object falls and cuts off the monster's neck, but four new heads are born in its place and the chase continues. So the two friends keep running until they are surrounded and saved by Sam, who attacks the dragon so that his daughter can escape. During the battle, the cat is thrown away and faints. The Cyclops then traps the cat in a cage, as they plan to cook it along with the crew. At that moment, John and Terry meet Patty and Chico's and the young mouse is deeply saddened to discover that she will never be able to see her father again. Meanwhile, in the city of Yolkos, the inhabitants are already exhausted and about to give up building the statue, as they don't believe it will be ready in time. Determined to survive when the city is destroyed, the rats prepare to leave, but Luigi has no intention of abandoning his people and distributes water so that the citizens have renewed strength to get back to work. Seeing the little guy's example, the other rodents also decide to help and organize themselves to hand out glasses of water to the workers. Moved by the situation, the seagulls also begin to help in any way they can and use their wings to cool the humans down. Motivated by the animals' efforts, the villagers return to work more determined to fulfill their mission. In the morning, while the Cyclops are asleep, Jason uses the bones of his crew to try to open the lock on the cell, but he is unsuccessful. Unlike them, Sam has already accepted that this will be his end, but he feels happy knowing that he managed to save his daughter. At this point, Patty is in tears and decides to go and talk to her father one last time. While Chico's are distracting Yuki's, she enters the room and walks to the cage. Seeing the little one, the cat says that none of this is her fault and asks for forgiveness for having tried to stop her from leaving Yolko's, as he always knew that Patty was born to be an adventurer. While listening to her father's apology, the little mouse thinks of a way to get him out of that cage and finally manages to open the door. After making up, they manage to escape together and Patty begins to think of a plan to free Jason. All the Argonauts have made it out of the cell, but the hero is still trapped inside. So Patty builds a fake wing so that Chico's can fly over the island and get rid of the giant robot while she and her friends look for a way into the Cyclops' forge. Seeing the seagull flying over the island, Yuki's uses all his strength to break free from his collar and goes after him. When he notices that he is being chased, Chico's quickly flies into the forest and manages to get his enemy stuck in the trunk of a tree. Then the bird and the two brothers enter the robot and the little ones reprogram the machine to play hopscotch. With the help of the scorpions, Patty and Sam manage to get rid of the dragons and then the group uses the treasure of the Cyclops to forge the trident that will be used to complement the statue of Poseidon. The sun is already setting when the trident is ready, so Patty has the idea of blowing up the forge to distract the Cyclops while she and her friends escape. When Grumos wakes up, he sets off the alarm and sends all the villagers after the scorpions. At that moment, the Argonauts realize that the monsters are gone and carry Jason's cage back to the ship. After a few minutes of chasing, the scorpions are surrounded and Patty encourages them to fight. However, after hitting some of those monsters, the animals are captured, but the giant cyclops robot arrives just in time and, under Chikas's command, attacks its own creators. The giant robot can tramples the cyclops like a cockroach and they flee in desperation. While their enemies are trying to escape, the Argonauts arrive at the ship and Chikos claims to have reprogrammed the robot to self-destruct. What he doesn't realize is that Grumos has managed to access the control panel, but before he can change the command, the robot throws a huge rock at himself and ends up being eliminated. The mission is almost over when Grumos appears and throws the trident at the scorpions. He then attacks the ship and starts destroying it so that the crew can't leave the island. Immediately, Theresa throws shiny objects in the enemy's direction, but her real intention is to use them to reflect the sunlight, which turns the Cyclops' body into a tree. Just then, Jason and the Argonauts appear and, despite not knowing how the trident got there, they take the object into the ship. Patty and her friends then board the ship and say goodbye to the scorpions, who decide to continue living on the island. The problem is that the deadline set by Poseidon is almost up and the crew must reach the city before the hourglass runs out. The statue is ready to receive the trident, but the wind is not in the Argonauts' favor. Believing that the adventurers will not make it in time, Zeus and the other gods of Olympus mourn the destruction of Yolkos and observe a minute's silence in honor of its inhabitants. However, on Hera's orders, Zeus sends a strong current of air to move the ship and take it quickly to the city. 
When the last drop falls, Poseidon prepares to destroy Yolkos, but is surprised by the arrival of Jason and his crew. Seeing the beautiful jewel that the Argonauts had taken to represent his trident, the god of the seas gave up on eliminating the people and praised the excellent work that the humans had done. He then returns the Golden Fleece to the city of Yolkos and returns to Olympus. When Poseidon leaves, the citizens start celebrating and, once again, Jason is welcomed as a hero. Patty and her friends are also very well received by their community and the little one congratulates Luigi on finally winning his place on the Ninja Rat team. That night, Patty wins a ticket to travel to Alexandria and realizes that this is a way for Sam to make amends for what he has done. At that moment, everyone is gathered to watch the play that the cat will put on, telling the story of Patty's adventure with the Argonauts. Sitting in front of the stage, the little mouse realizes that she has fulfilled her greatest dream and, even if the humans don't know the true story of how that trident arrived in the city, Patty knows that she has returned from that mission as the hero she always dreamed of being. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.